intelligent design was low. Max. But I don't accept that as adequate proof of the existence of a designer. Fine. I will leave it at that. You know why I will leave it as that? What's that? Because I personally believe you have contradicted your own true standard. You've almost said that there's 99% possibility, 99.9 .9 recurring percent of possibility, sure. that the universe came out not as a result of randomness, which would necessitate non-randomness, which would necessitate right. a but force. By the very nature of probability, everything that has a representative number tied to it, right? Like every chance could occur, right? So by your own model, although well, it's if, if you have the existence of infinity only. Which we talked about before. We don't want to go around in circles. <laughs> yeah, we don't want to do that. Okay, okay. Max. So, so yeah. Do you want to keep it? I did say no. Okay. I did okay. say that it's less yes. than uh, a one percent chance, right? Yeah. But what you need to do in order for this to be a, a very concretely convincing presentation and not just like a semi-weak one is you need to then follow up on that and say, and this is why I know that we are not living in the percentile where this did occur randomly. Because so far, all you've done is prove that both are possible, and I accept that. I mean, I've well, well, no, no, I haven't. I haven't showed you that. I've showed you that the universe has a 99.9 .9 recurring per percent chance of not coming about randomly, which would necessitate that it has to have come about non-randomly, which would necessitate a organized force. And you're saying that you don't want to believe that. So this is personally, I personally believe, is intellectual dishonesty. Because that was your own standard. Yeah. But, and that's why you call it a trap. But why call it a trap? It's not a trap. You can, you're you in a trap. I think I did actually. Let's back up a step. believe that much. 99% is not easy. Hang on. What makes you believe that? Hang on, hang on. Just one sec. I realized I made a mistake. Okay. <laughs> in an infinite universe. Ah, fine. No, I'm fine. Fuck it. You want to end this thing? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Max. I think the best thing to do is me and you have a conversation off cameras because I think there's a feeling that. Um, we're doing it for the sake of the audience, so we'll do it maybe. Well, let me, let me just dismantle that really quick. Yeah. You wouldn't have a bunch of cameras if you weren't doing it for the sake of an audience. So I'm doing it. I'm doing it for the sake. Of, yeah, yeah, I'm doing it for the sake of an audience. Yeah. I want the audience to be acquainted with the arguments, and I want an interlocutor mm -hmm. to provide the devil's advocate position. And you've done a good job in doing that. Yeah. Uh, but I'm saying that if you want to do it afterwards as well, we can do it afterwards as well. I with may. That. All right. We'll talk about it. You're invited to dinner. We're going to break our fast after.